Hi viewers, we're back again to on some food exciting actions. This time we're going to go straight to a very familiar act which is a uh, um, slap. How you can uh, avoid or you know counter slap, a common slap. We have, you know, we have the usual way that uh, that's very common to just stop the slap. But we're going to give you uh, about three or four different other ways on how to counter a slap, stop a slap. And uh, I want to quickly remind our first timers to always uh, subscribe and hit the bell. Leave your comments. Then, for our already esteemed subscribers, keep saying thumbs up and thank you. So let's get down straight to the action. Now, first of all, we want to take the regular way of stopping a slap, which we're all very conversant with. But it's going to go with a counter, which you might not be very conversant with. But the stopping, I know you know this. So first of all, let's take, then the explanation will come. Now, take your slap. Now, this is the regular way of stopping a slap. Anybody, any layman would want to do it. But now the counter that follows here, after here, twist here, lock, and then you can strike here. You can strike here. It all depends on what you want. But already, the, the wrist here is locked. Then you take your strike. Every strike you want to use is possible for you to take from the angle. Alright? So now, let's take it a swift one. Then I'll break it down again. The swift one go. Pop. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Now the breaking. Now take it again. Go. Now you cross here. Now this lock. This one is just stopping the slap from getting to you. Now you twist with the wrist here. Lock. You must make sure it's at the wrist. Lock up. Ah. Then from here, you might even decide not to even take any other strike. Just lock. It goes down. Ah. But if you want to, mm, mm, bam, anyhow you want it. Okay? So that's the counter for that regular uh, way of take, uh, stopping a slap, which I know every layman is conversant with. Okay, now let's go to another one, which might not be very conversant. Okay, now let's take, take your slap again. Oh! Now, you can see the reaction. <laughs> All right. Now, with this, it's already devastated. But if you still want to finish him, when he's down there, you can do whatever and finish him. But first of all, let's explain what happens to him there. Of course, you've seen the reaction. You know that uh, something has happened. Okay, now this is how it goes. Now, bring the slap slowly. You time, you time the, the elbow. The center of the elbow you time it now you bring your own elbow into the center yes now as it comes you strike bam there it locks it back there it sends a shock so there's no way he would he, he would retake this without you know having some uh, you know kind of sensation the shocking sensation will come to the hand the entire hand pop arm now you see that? Then from there, boom, boom, you can take whatever thing you want to take. If you want to take down, you can take down. But that is not very common. So take note. You see the reaction. If you take it hard enough, I have not taken that block hard enough. It can go with strike, it can go the, the block same way. And now if it's coming, I'm going to be very careful. He comes, then boom. I had to pause it because if I take the strike, boom, instead of just blocking like that, boom, that's that arm will be dead for for quite a, some minutes. It'll be dead for quite some minutes. So that's how devastating it, 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 that technique is. Okay, now let's see another one. This other one, um, just. Now let's go take the slap first. Now from from this one, 
when you see the action, you'll be able to, you know, understand how, okay, I will explain how it goes. Not go with your slap. Boom. Now, this is called acupuncture. It goes straight to the shoulder. It can dislodge the shoulder. If he's coming with, if the slap is coming with a full force and you strike them, boom. You are striking straight to where you have the connection of the arm and the shoulder. Bam. And it, it can dislodge the shoulder. It has to be very hard. So your fingers has to be well trained to be able to give very hard strike there. Now, after taking that palm, you want to add up anything. You want to add anything. It's left for you to add. But this alone has devastated you. Now let's take it one more time. Go. Boom. You see that? Then you can follow up with anything there. As simple as that. Alright? At this time around, it comes with a slap again. Now go. Pop. You see this? This one goes with emotion. If you see the body, the push, the, the way I, push, I, I position myself, it shows emotion. You have to be very timely. Because immediately the slap comes, go. Step in with emotion. Can you see that? The motion is what throws him off balance. But if you allow the slap to land, pop, and then go, you see that? You will find it difficult to take him off balance. But you, allow, you take the slap and the block at the same time, the motion, he must follow. All right? Okay? Well, um, I'm just having this feeling to just add up one more. Let's add up one more. I would have wanted to leave us with this, but let me just put up one more, okay? Now, take this time. This time we go one and strike. Can you see that? I press the elbow. The elbow strike goes there. Okay? So you have to be careful. Now take it. Bam, boom! You press it there and then strike. Boom! Oh. It's as simple as that. All right? At least you've been able to take some, apart from the regular one you, you were conversant with, you've taken about uh, four to add to that what you've known already. So you can learn from them, build them up, and uh, uh, to be good for you to understand those techniques. Okay, but by this, uh, now we're going to pause here for, for today, and until we come your way next time with another exciting action. But I won't uh, leave without reminding our first timers to always subscribe, hit the bell, and then leave a comment. And for our esteemed subscribers, we are so grateful. So we always say thank you, thank you, and thank you. Stay tuned, you will come your way next time.